<laughs> what does a film editor do? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Edits films. <laughs> Compiles the film and uh, figures out the timing. I think it's the most important thing. Right? A lot of people think, oh, in animation, you produce this little bit, and then you produce this little bit, and you attach them together, and that's all an editor does. Well, that's completely false. An editor can make something feel funny and fast-paced and interesting, or slow and languid and boring. The editor helps guide the story into this coherent thing that makes sense from beginning to end. And it's a little bit confusing, I think, because you feel like flashback, 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 and then flashback. that becomes the scene. Uh -huh. I don't know, it's just not clear to me. And it's also one of the hardest jobs because you are on right from the beginning and you're going all the way to the end. I've been involved since the first writing pass, through all of the story passes, into camera layout, animation, lighting, and now we're just about to begin the final sound mix. You're building this thing from scratch. It's an empty void. <laughs> Especially on Inside Out, there was literally no story. There was a great idea, but it changed radically over the first three years. You wouldn't recognize the first version of the movie we made. In animation, the first thing we have is a script, and off the script, storyboard artists draw by hand storyboards, and then they present it to the room. So we gave Val a script um, a couple days ago, and she's drawing the whole thing, and we'll take a look at it. Oh my gosh, why have we never been here before? It's like, oh, because mom and dad have been keeping this from us. Nine times out of 10, a story artist will pitch something and will be like, oh, that's great, that's brilliant. And then you put it into editorial and you're watching and you go like, oh, this stinks. And why did, who thought this was a good idea? A lot of the story artists are very funny people. And they will describe the gag in a way that's funny, even if you weren't looking at the pictures. And then the scene comes into editorial, and the editor has delivered this big pile of material, which is a series of storyboards. They have no sense of timing. And a bunch of lines of dialogue. Because mom and dad have been keeping it from us. Because mom and dad have been keeping it from us that we piece together matching the script. We also have to lay in any sound that's important in that scene because there is no production sound. We cut it and we get to the gag and we cut it and we recut it and it's not funny. You're sitting there and it's not funny. Oh my gosh, why have we never been here before? Because mom and dad have been keeping it from us. And the first thing someone will say is, oh, it's funny in the pitch. And that is like the editor's most hated statement <laughs> at Pixar is it was funny in the pitch. We're sitting here with the raw, like just the thing. And I'm sorry, it's not funny. <laughs> if we show every time Joey understands that by this fourth one. Yeah. Yeah. Two of them back to back. Yeah. Hi, sweetie, have a good day. See ya. Crescendoed up da, 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 right as she fell, right? From the first time we start producing drawings, those are going to editorial, and Kevin and his whole team are starting to put them together in story reels. And we do this seven, eight, nine times before then we get to animation. You make the movie over and over. You're involved in this every step of the way. But also, each time the next person gets a hold of it, they make little adjustments to it. Typically, in animation, we'll grow shots a little bit just because you want just a little bit more time here to make this expression read, and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, do it. You just give us another 12 frames at the tail of the inhale. And then Kevin will see it and go like, who lengthened the shot? And I'm like, uh, hmm. it's a pain in the <laughs> Great editors are realists. Objectivity is what makes them so vital to the storytelling process. The way that the film comes to life is really up to the editor. So you're sitting there watching all these little pieces being put together, and then you sit back and watch it, and you know, sometimes it's uh, an amazing difference. The same material, just arranged in a slightly different way, it's, it's a mystery. The smallest adjustment, like the timing of a gag or the pause between two lines can affect an emotion or a piece of humor. Or, it's just fascinating to me.